Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to use Open Media Vault 5 to install a NAS server on Raspberry Pi 4. So let's do it. First of all, uh, let's just go ahead and open the Angry IP scanner to check the IP. Let's just click on start and you can see we are on 16 192.168.1.16. Let's just go ahead and close it. Now uh, let's just go ahead and open it. I already logged in here. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to general settings and uh, disable auto log out. That will protect our open media vault to auto log out. Now the next thing is the date and time. You need to be on the correct time zone. So make sure that you are on the correct time zone. Then let's just move down to disk from here. And I have connected one disk, a 32 GB of flash drive that is right here. You just need to click on wipe and then yes and click on quick. Now once it's done, just click on done. And then the next thing is we need to go into file system. And from here, we need to create the disk. Let's just select the name of the disk is Ultra. Let's just put a label, name it as Store. The file system will be ext4. Click on OK and Yes. So it will take some time to create the partition depending upon the size of your disk. If you are using a large capacity of disk it will take some time i'm using a 32 gb so it will not take that much of time so as you can see the file system creation has completed successfully so let's just click on close and you can see it's on devsda1 ext4 now we need to mount the drive let's click on mount now we need to click on apply to apply the settings and then yes this will mount our drive on our server on our open media world server it will take some time once it's done then what we need to do we need to create a user with samba server rights because of that we can access our samba server over the network so the settings are done now let's just move to users and here we have only one user that we have created in our last video of Open Media Vault installation on Raspberry Pi 4. Now let's just go ahead and click on Add and create a user here. Let's just name it as PC Mac. Now the user is created successfully. Let's just click on Apply and Yes. So the PC Mac user is a group uh, is a member of group users only. So what we need to do, uh, we need to provide its privileges to our Samba server. We need to select our user that is PC Mac and then click on Edit. And from here we need to go into Groups. Now uh, let's just make it as admin and uh, let's move down and uh, make it as a member of Samba Share as well. So for now, let's just make it as SSH as well, member of SSH. And uh, let's check this one as well, www data for future videos. So this is the most important thing for making it as a NAS server, Samba share, and then uh, let it make a member of root as well. So just click on save and apply and yes. So root admin and Samba share are the important folders that we need to check uh, the important groups that we need to check for our further videos as well. So uh, the settings are done. What we need to do is uh, we need to move down to shared folder now. And let's go and create a folder. Uh, let's name it as Docker because we will make videos on docker from now onwards and the device is stored and click on save now it's right here and uh, apply and yes now let's go ahead and click on privileges and uh, then let's provide read and write to all the users and save it 
and then apply yes now let's move to ACL and the folder docker is here let's provide read and write permissions to all the members and apply so it's also done now let's move to Samba here and I already enabled it we need to go into share and we need to add our folder here that is docker and then save the information it's right here and uh, let's go ahead and apply the settings and yes so I'm using a Linux machine uh, I have shown how to access a Samba folder on your Windows computer as well I'll leave the link of my old video on the top right corner you will see it right now you can visit that particular video if you don't know how to do that so it's almost finished the server is created and it will work fine we will check it through our folder let's just click on files here and it's done here as well and uh, let's select you can see uh, Samba Raspberry Pi SMB Samba let's just click on it and we can see that we have docker here registered user and let's just put password here that we have created while creating the user and just select remember forever and correct and the folder is empty so it's working absolutely fine so uh, this is the way you can install a samba server on your open media world so in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to install docker on our open media world 5 and then we will move forward and install other application on docker so that's it from my end if you like my work please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel share this video with your family and friends thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day